My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Tharsis. Off the back of the last episode where we actually managed to succeed, we've unlocked the pilot, who is ignore movement damage, as I assumed he might be. And off the back of my free play in my own time, we've unlocked Joy Lee, who I assume on a 5 plus will give you 2 assist. I really want to have the captain with me. The doctor also seems to be quite important. I end up using... I like the main crew. That's the thing. I don't know if I want Joy Lee. Joy Lee, Dulibi, Dibi, Dachu. All right. I can also rename characters. This is something I've just recently learned. Hmm. Somehow I feel like we're going to have to find who's the MVP of this episode. And then we'll give them a special name. Just like we used to do in XCOM. Prepared for any disaster whatsoever, except for me skipping that scene. Okay. Negative one health on all is... Not horrendous. Okay, to defeat Moisture, I am going to need to throw Pakal in there. Which is kind of annoying, because I'd really want to get Pakal, Jean Lowe, and Alison Silver for a total of eight dice for 27. But Pakal is going to have to fix this. Okay, we've got a 6 and a stasis 2. Well, I throw the 6 in and I'll re-roll the 2. Hopefully I just don't get a 1. That's completely fine. Resolves this. We are going to have some real bad early games. So, I want to roll the Doctor and the Specialist in here. Because if I end up with a, just 5 floating around that I can use, then I'll be able to buff up everyone and regain their die. I, especially with no assists and a stasis on a 1 and a 3, I'm not greedy enough to leave that one around. Let's throw this in here. Beautiful. Okay, double six. Double six. Here we go, Captain. Double sixes. <gasps> what the fuck? Really? You're kidding me. Okay, so I'm going to re-roll this. Because getting a 5 here would be insane. Or a 6, obviously. Eh, fine, you just regain some die. We are so low on die. Moods are turning, sir. Uh, plus 1 food, negative 1 ship. I'm 100% certain we're doing this. We need to buff up our die so that we can actually get ahead of the game. Yep, that's where those go. UTA damaged and... Oh, perfect. I can cure each of those with just a single person. I want the captain to roll in the same area that another person rolls so that he can buff another person up. Which means it's... Probably the doctor down here and then the specialist over here. This is stress reduction. Both of them have the same amount of stress. This is actually healing though, so the specialist rolls in here. So if they have... Oh my fucking... God. The God rolls are in. I rarely ever get to spare a five, so I'm just going to chuck this in here. Also back to full health. Crazy. Absolutely crazy from that. We'll get the doctor to go down here. Yes. Perfect. Injury on two, but... But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to her. She gives zero... Zero count em fox. I really want to reduce her stress as well. Okay. I'm going to resolve that with this and see if I can actually get a stress reduction here. No. That's okay. I like to get a few people on zero stress so I can try and get some really good end of turn options. Now, Captain, I want to roll in the same area that the Mechanic does. But if he's going to give plus dinosaur... Okay, so this, this is definitely... Mechanic rolls in here. Wait, after the Captain does. Oh, awesome! The Captain can roll first and give the Mechanic another die to work with. Oh, that'll be perfect. Let's try and harvest some food. Okay, well, we'll chuck twos in here. And we'll give both of us a die and fix this down here. I'm not so certain I want 
any of these really. We'll see. So we could have Pakal roll in here. I think actually I send Pakal to the back of the ship. Have him start working on the ship. No, I'm only going to have one food next turn. And I'm not going to feed anyone. Hmm. I don't know if Pakal regained his dice, actually. Uh, I'll... It's either one or four that I want to invest in here. Because then if I roll another one or a four, I don't have to put it in a research project. One is replaceable there if I want to re-roll, so it's a four. A four goes in here. Then I'll roll again. Five's going to have to go into the ship then. And now I can... Exactly what I thought. If I have a one left over, now I can shuffle these and put another in. Call home. Doing it immediately. I love reducing stress. It is my favorite thing whatsoever. In this entire game. Uh, plus one dice for all crew. Negative one health for all crew. They're all really healthy. Or I can take a ship for food. No, plus one dice is perfect as well. Uh, no food's needed. Okay, this is really annoying because there's a bunch of... Mm. I might have to disaster reduce that. Because there's so much pain in that room. Okay, let's get the two lowest to roll on these first. So specialist rolls in the room that the specialist is already in. Six, a five, and a two. You don't need to recover your health, so I don't need to worry about putting a five in here. Unless I roll two sixes, I'm going to be using three die to fix this, so I may as well invest them now. And then as soon as I get something that isn't a five, I'll just pop it down here. Assuming I get something that isn't a five. <laughs> okay, perfect. Doctor rolls in this room. What is... I'm getting the god rolls. They really, really are coming fast and furious here. Uh, I can also heal a little. Gonna take two dice to fix this anyway, so I'll invest them. I can heal a little and chuck a six down here. That actually seems a good idea to me. I could have also regained die. Nah, it would have cost me a die to do anyway. Mechanic and Captain. Both of them on relatively low health. Here's how I feel. I feel the mechanic goes to the back of the ship. And at the back of the ship? Why the back? No, he goes down to the stress reduction room. And I'm trying to just fill out the disaster reduction down here. So a five goes in to reduce stress first. And the next five or six goes into the class, obviously, over here. Come on. Just a two. One, two. I mean, I said one, two, and it gave me one, two. I can't complain. Now I get to do this one without having to worry. And I can also increase my resist at the end of it as well. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Put six in here. Five in here to increase my own die. Get my assists back up. Uh, no, I'm not going to risk... Getting a 1 or a 3 and having to... No, but I want to re-roll anyway. Okay. I want to re-roll this. 3 and a 4. We can decide to re-roll it later. Alright. Perfect. Plus 2 health rolls, negative 1 dice for all crew. That never happens. Plus 1 food. Negative 1 health for us. They're super healthy. That's 100% the often option. If you're wondering why we're getting such great options, it's because we're keeping our stress low on all of our characters. Speaking of keeping stress low, I think I want to do this without cannibalism. I could try and chuck a food on both of these characters. I'm actually going to do it. Because I think I'll be able to net gain more food by feeding the characters. If that doesn't make sense, it's because it doesn't actually make sense at all. But I think I'll still be able to get more food if I actually feed the characters and then harvest food afterwards. Okay. Avoid on one. So I definitely want to roll in this room first. Oh, 
Oh, perfect. See, if I get a four or a six, suddenly this becomes useless. Unless I override. Eh, let's risk it. Risk it. Risk it for the biscuit. I got a four. Okay, fine. I'll override. Sedatives. I like sedatives. Very much like sedatives. Okay, so specialist is the person I want to roll in this room afterwards. So the doctor goes in there first. Stasis on the low rolls, but luckily we've got the incredible amount of assists. Invest the five and the four and re-roll. Yep. No need to turn my nose up at that. That's an excellent result. So now I put the specialist in here who tries to roll enough to get us a bunch of food. So we've got three fours right there. That's a bunch of food. I mean, I think that's pretty much exactly what I asked for. I could reduce everyone's stress by 30%. I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to see if I can get everyone to, like, no stress whatsoever. Special tools. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, we have no stress on any character except the Doctor right now. Uh, Captain... You didn't actually heal the ship, did you? You just resolved the crisis. I can try and go down here and heal the ship and give the mechanic a die at the same time. That's actually a pretty good option. Uh, fuck. Well, I always want to give someone a die. Yeah, that happens. Just a doubles, please. That's fine. I don't care if I don't get triples. Doubles is good enough. Beautiful! Oh, I'm optimistic. I am very optimistic. Okay. Uh, plus one ship. Plus one twenty percent No, not doing that. Uh, negative one dice for those characters. Ooh, plus one health roll crew. Alright. I don't like it, but I'll do it. We'll do the exact same move that we made last time where we feed the two characters without getting the full benefit just so that we can try and get ourselves into a better position. So the character with the lowest amount of dice is going to roll in the eight percent. Sorry, in the eight room. So double six in here, heals the ship for two, gets us to full, and then I can resolve the crisis. What are my other options? I resolve the crisis using a four and a six. God, I'm saying resolve the crisis because I've been playing dead at winter recently. I just like board games, yo. Uh, yeah, I, I, th I think I use the double six for the double ship repair. It's almost like I get to use my hero power twice. Hero power. Okay, never mind. I've been playing a lot of Hearthstone apparently as well. Ships back up. CD damaged. Healthiest character is almost certainly the one who does that. Yeah, it's got to be the specialist. But the specialist has so good of a chance to get the food from. No, I'm gonna. I'm sending the doctor, and if it doesn't work out, I'll send the captain in afterwards. Taken an injury. That's kind of annoying. We'll invest the five. And the four and reroll. <laughs> exactly 16. Wow. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll just do it. I am... I am rolling really well here. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what god I filleted in a previous life, but I am just getting it going on in this room right now. Uh, you healed the ship by two using double sixes, so the captain re-rolling in that room isn't a great idea. The captain can heal itself while buffing the doctor. Seems like possibly one of the better ideas right now. I've got regain die here, but that's not going to be the great. Look, specialist always resolves in here. Specialist is looking for a triple. Uh, I don't want fours because I already have these research projects going on with fours, so I put the fours in here. And then I re-roll again. Perfect. Four, five can go down here, and re-roll once more time. Perfect! Double food up, and the captain goes in here to heal himself. 
as well as give a die to the doctor, which totally works out. One die, heal, roll. Okay, let's see if I can get a two. It's not that bad if I can't. Uh, I'd really like to re-roll, but unfortunately the research project spends from left to right, so I'd be losing the one, and the six and the five are the last ones, so... Oh well. Gonna have to waste those two die. Going to have to waste two die. I have the ability to do that. Okay, negative one dice for all crew, or plus one health for all crew. Plus two health for us. So sh you're gonna waste one of the health. You're gonna overheal by one. I think I go with this, give these negative one, and then I can feed, force feed the mechanic and feel pretty happy about it. Awesome. If you keep your stress low, I'm telling you, that's the secret. That is what they don't tell you. You keep your... Oh. We got trouble. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, Mecha uh, let's start with the doctor in this room. Oh, that's a lot of injuries. I'm gonna pop that. Choice harvest. Ugh. I want to re-roll for, like, MCC or Disaster Reduce. I don't care about Choice Office. That's it. I'm re-rolling with this. That's also not great. I dare re-roll with this one, though. Not yet. I'll decide if I want to do that later. Uh, special... Oh, God, but this is really bad. It's Void on... 4 die. Okay, here's what has to happen. Mechanic, you're going to go up here. Your goal is to fill out the research project, increase assist, and heal the ship. Well, you've filled out the research project, uh, but you've got an extra two, so I'll let you shuffle this first. Prevent injury. That's not what I want. You've also got an extra four. That's it, we're re-rolling again. MCC override is good. I'll take it. Two, three, four. Just roll this. Hopefully I get increased. Uh, do I want to... No, I can hack to give myself one assist and then put this back here. Perfect. So MCC override means I only need to roll one in here. That's all I need. And then the captain can go into the break room at the front. Okay, that's fine. Yep, two of them got voided immediately, as expected. This is a pretty poor turn for us. It's actually thrown us really far off of where we were, off of our scheduled course. But that's fine. We were setting a path for success, and this is just... Really thrown us for a loop. Alright, I'm gonna have to use special tools here. Uh, I don't want to spend the five. So I'll throw this one down here. Do I want to spend the two as well? No, because I have to roll four in this afterwards. Yeah, so I have to put the die in there. Uh, yeah, of course. Never mind, I, I put this down here. Specialized tools, and then resolve. I'm gonna have to feed some people who don't need food right now. I'm considering even... Ooh, negative one dice for you. So you take negative one dice. I was probably gonna feed you anyway. And then I can feed you and the captain. There's two die on the doctor, four on the mechanic. I think we're fine actually to do that. We could also take the negative one shit for two assist. We have a lot of ship. And this would put us on three. So overall, think about it. Like, I'm going to get three food from this. Sorry, three dice from one food. 
and I'm going to lose two dice. So I get a positive of one dice if I use this. But it's distributed away from the doctor. Do I care about that? No. I have a lot of low stress characters, so I should not be getting a huge amount of void or injury. So I'm going to take this. Captain's super important to keep on high dice so that he can buff other people's dice. Never mind, got a lot of void. All right. MCC override is going to be not enough to deal with that, unfortunately. It's nice, though. It's definitely nice. Don't get me wrong. I'm a huge fan. I think I want to roll the doctor up here. Yeah. Deploy doctor up here. Three dice should be enough to get... Uh... All right, this is dicey. Literally. Uh, don't tell me I'm hilarious. I know I am. <laughs> I only say that because the joke was so bad. All right, what do we got? Sergeant. You're kind of going to be wasted if you go down here. Specialist in this room is really good. Everyone's pretty much splitting up to do their own thing this turn. Mechanic might end up in here to get back to five die and heal. But you don't even need to heal the ship. So the mechanic is just, like, get yourself in a good position, son. I want food most of all right now. Okay, fine. We got voided one die and I have enough to just finish it. I'm not looking to gift horse in the mouth. We're just going to do this. Finish it out. Okay, so we've got Specialist and Mechanic who can free roam. Specialist is 100% harvesting food. Looks like we're doing foods on four. That's a great idea. And I can even just fill that. No, I've got two more rolls. Let's see if I get a four. Nope. Oh, we got the four. It's fine. Everything's fine. Totally worth I think I might actually stay up here and roll in this room in order to increase assist. Is that true? No, it's not. I'm going to go increase my own die. And just try and do research projects at the same time. Yep. Two. Three. Three. I mean, literally it doesn't matter what happens now. Uh, MCC override is so good that I don't want to care. Like, I don't want to re-roll. Yeah. It's fine. Four weeks to get to Mars. No movement damage, negative 30 stress for all crew. That would take everyone to zero, but it's negative one ship as well, so I don't care. That's that's actually excellent for me. Perfect. We'll avoid cannibalism. <laughs> negative one health on all for all of them. Uh, okay, I can resolve this just using the MCC. Which means I can do... But I don't want to do ship repair. Like, I don't really care about it. Okay, let's do the obvious stuff. You're probably going to heal yourself in this room as well, so... Let's have you do this. Look, I just... I They give me the die, I throw the die. That's how it works. Holy fuck. Okay, can I leave the six only? I totally can. Although it requires me throwing every other die. But that's fine, because that means I can just heal myself to four. Doctor's back on full health. Captain rolls in there, but that's not good for anyone. Specialist is always resolving food, which means Captain is resolving a issue. It doesn't matter who rolls here right now. Ah, oh, it does. The captain should have rolled there. Because he would have the ability to use regain die in some actual functional way. I'll invest these two in reroll. It's not what I was hoping for, but it's okay.
Specialist stays here to get food, means Captain goes to the back. I'm going to resolve this without the MCC override, to be honest. Takes an injury. Okay, we are not resolving this without the MCC override. That's fine. Excuse me, that goes back down. Reduce everyone's stress again. Yep, only the captain's stressing out at this point. Oh! This works. I can supplement at the start of the next round if I really want to. Oh, okay. Plus 20% stress. Uh, yeah, we get the assist for the ship, obviously. We've got more food that we can deal with right now. Okay, now we got trouble, boss. A lot of ship damage incoming. Uh, Captain almost certainly rolls in here, preventing himself from taking more damage. Rolls first as well, so that he can avoid assists. Sorry, avoid um, using up the assists, if possible. Five and a one? But I can put the one and the two down here and just put... We'll put the five and the one in because then you can heal your own die and put something down in the research project. It's difficult. We shouldn't have this many problems right now. Alright, you should just be able to fix this. Oh, yep. Got voided one. Ha! <laughs> Alright, that was stupid. That shouldn't have worked. Rolling a 2 die 11 does not make any sense. Uh... Oh, this totally works. Okay, the specialist goes down here. I don't need the food this round anyway. Specialist goes down here for the fix. Takes a double injury, but that's fine. I sent you down here because you were so healthy. I mean, you can't kill yourself right now anyway, so... Just roll. Perfect. Which allows me to reduce your stress from all the hits you just took. Yay! I'm actually gonna quick patch and then put the three down... Excuse me. Then put the three down here. Now, that leaves the Doctor free to come into this room. Reroll. Perfect. And... Gain back up to full die. No need to use that. Okay, so no movement damage, negative one dice. Uh, no. We've got one food at the moment, so no movement damage, negative one health is completely fine. Specialist. There should be no reason to do anything this turn. We're, yeah, we've got no movement damage. Everyone just goes to the flight control and we win. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, how do I want to do this then? I move the mechanic last. That makes sense. Oh, look at all those good things we're not gonna do. Yay! Get a one. Get a one, you nerd. Oh, you specialist nerd. Good work. Love you. How am I supposed to cure this without killing my own crew? I'm finally actually gonna get everyone to the end of the game, so 
This is gonna be awesome. We might try hard mode next episode, just in case... I'm underestimating the game. We did get an amazing start in Incredible Rolls, though. Finish deployment. Everyone has to be in the head of the ship. The crew in the flight control will depart to Mars. The ship must survive the turn. Uh, we'll roll the captain up here. Oh, look, everyone gets to die. Wee! Finish deployment. Move the mechanic up into this room. Now, you take a snack, then roll, then give supplements to the whole crew. One, two, three, five. Come on, baby, I know you can do it. Oh, you totally did. We'll also heal the ship on the way out. Babu. There were times I thought we'd never make it. Times I doubted it would even be here if we did. But there it is at last. Mars. Okay. I've heard this scene is different depending on the amount of people you have survive. We've no cannibals and we've had everyone survive, so I wonder what happens. Mm -hmm. Four silhouettes, that's good. Okay, something horrifying happens regardless. I may be having a little bit of difficulty understanding what the story is here, but th there's some sort of cube that was causing horrors previously. And this time, because we had four crew members, someone picked up a rock and threw it at the cube. Killed the cube. Won the game. We've already gone through the credits last episode. Okay, stress 2%. Events remaining, 1. I don't know how I can have zero events remaining. How do, how do I kill them without leaving someone on the ship? No human meals, no dead crew. For research at the end. Okay, so I want to keep as much research and food at the end as possible to increase my score. Having as much health and die as I did at the end was also good. Ship hull looks like it extracted, uh, sorry, detracted the two that I was taking to the event. Perfect. That is really, really good. Let's have a look at the leaderboard. I am in position 170. Fuck yeah! Suck it, Stejo and Orbital! <laughs> Although, of course, they've also been playing hard mode. 170, that's, that's respectable, especially considering this game is now officially out. Beforehand, we were competing for like 34 and <laughs> 17 and places like that. We were competing for relatively low numbers, but that's because it was in... Uh, well, it wasn't actually in early access, it just uh, wasn't available yet on Steam for the public. Oh man, that was good fun. Alright, next time I'm just definitely going to have to start on a hard mode thing. Hopefully these missions pop up soon because I'd really like to play through some of those. My name is Min Rhapsody, the name of the game has been Tharsis. Hopefully you've been enjoying it though. Yourself. Yourself, if you have, please click like. It does help get my content out to new people. There's also a playlist in the description down below with all my content on the video game past, present, and future. If you haven't subscribed to the channel and you want more content like this, feel free to. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself. We'll see you next time.